So which virus are they talking about? It's the human metanumovirus, and it's certainly not new. Uh, it was officially discovered in 2001. However, it's been known to cause, I think, illness for many years prior to that. And we in pediatrics have been seeing this for several years now. So how is it diagnosed? It's, uh, we check it through the, uh, you know, the respiratory PCR panel when we do a nose swab. And in that big list, human metanumovirus is one of the viruses that we can check for. And how does it present? So it's very similar to the other respiratory viruses like RSV, rhinoenterovirus, um, you know, can cause a fever, basically like a cold symptom, so cough, congestion, runny nose. Most of these um, illnesses are actually very mild and self-limited, and you don't even need to be hospitalized or anything, you know, just see your pediatrician or treat at home. However, the ones that we see in the hospital tend to be in um, kids that are, you know, on the younger side, like the infants, or, you know, it's in the elderly population. So those two are the most at risk. And uh, they can present with anywhere from bronchiolitis. You know, if you have asthma, then it makes your asthma worse, um, to viral pneumonia, to even all the way to um, respiratory distress and failure. Um, treatment, again, like all most viral infections, is supportive care. So in the hospital, it's mostly going to be, uh, you know, providing oxygen, IV fluids. No antibiotics are necessary unless there is a, another bacterial infection. And... And there's no vaccines or anything, um, you know, uh, for human metanumovirus. Um, so it happens usually every year, you know, fall to spring is the most common time. So yes, in March, you know, we did see a lot of these um, human metanumovirus coming through and some of them were pretty sick. And I have to say, I have seen more of oxygen requirement in this virus, like a lot of um, prolonged hypoxia with this virus. But overall, it's pretty similar to RSV, rhinoenterovirus or adenovirus. And it's not really anything alarming. It's been here all along. And, and this year we saw a lot of respiratory illnesses overall. We had a lot more of it. So that's it. So it's nothing scary. It's just human metanumovirus, which has been around for a long time. I hope that helps. And don't forget to follow.